Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? What's going on? Fighter here. So today we'll be looking at this massive, massive set. This is the Daily Bugle. Um, this is a set that was released not that long ago, but it's definitely not an old set. Um, it is um, the, of course, the Daily Bugle. Uh, it is a Marvel set. It has three hundred seven, three thousand seven hundred and seventy two pieces it's set number seven six one seven eight and it retails for about three hundred and fifty dollars now ever since the set was released i have wanted to buy this set for some reasons and i haven't wanted to buy this set because of some reasons and one it's price point three hundred fifty dollars is an insane price to pay for a lego set three hundred fifty dollars is Definitely above what I would normally pay for sets. Uh, I feel iffy about buying modular buildings, and modular buildings usually don't go over 250. But I did buy this set. Um, and I'm not actually, I'm a massive Marvel fan. I have seen tons of Spider-Man movies, and I have since as long as I can remember. Um, movies, TV shows, animated shows, and I've been a big fan of just Marvel in general um for a very very long time and um so i've always loved marvel stuff but lego marvel stuff i've never really got into um for whatever reason it just never was my thing um so one of the, actually the reasons why I, I never thought about getting this set particularly because again i, I didn't entirely care about a set this expensive that uh, had a bunch of minifigures that I might not want to use. Um, but uh, yeah, um, the reason I didn't end up getting it is because it's a beautiful set. Um, and I probably won't keep any of the figures if I I'm probably will sell most of the figures um, to get some money back. And keep the build and kind of transform into just a regular module building, which is what a lot of people have been doing. Um, and I th think I am going to actually do that. So, um, if you guys are interested in any of the figures, uh, I will probably sell all of them eventually. Uh, I'll list them, most of them, basically anything that's superhero related. Uh, I, I love Spider-Man. I've been a big fan. I've actually recently saw, um, the newest animated one. Can't remember what it's called. Great movie. Great film. Can't wait for the third one. And I've seen, I've seen all the Spider-Man films, um, uh, with, uh, with, um, Tom Regua, uh Jesus, Andrew Garfield, um, and, uh, you know, like the original first three, uh, and um, I can't, my brain is blanking, and of course, in the, in the newer ones with, um, um, with the Marvel Cinematic Universe as well, and yeah, I, I've been a big fan of all the Marvel stuff for a very long time. Um, now, I'm not a comic book expert, and I do know most of the characters and minifigures I, I'll show you, but I'm not an expert, so don't come at me, all right? I have this set because I like how it looks, uh, and I will be transforming it into just a regular building into my city. And the biggest thing you're going to see with this set is it's, its height. This thing is tall. Seriously. Uh, I built it at a regular size table. And um, when I was putting the stuff on the top, uh, I had to stand up to actually put everything on the top. Um, and it's built pretty interestingly. And this thing sucks to try to take or carry anywhere. Um, I built it in the span of about three days. And I do have to say that the building experience was actually a lot better than I've heard the building experience has been for a lot of people. And I am really happy with the end result, mostly, mostly. Um, and we will be doing the size comparison um, towards other module buildings and just um, some other stuff with Lego related stuff uh, in a second. But first, I do actually want to talk about um, a couple of things. And we'll talk about the box itself, the instructions that is here on the side, extra parts. And then we'll take a look at the actual set, uh, you know, go through the entire set, what I think, minifigures, and then we'll do a size comparison. Um, so... This might be a little bit of a longer review, so, um, yeah, and there could be a little bit of cuts. This might actually take me a little bit while to actually upload, because I don't even know how I'm going to do this exactly, but we'll kind of figure it out. All right, instructions, let's go. All right, so for the instructions of the book here, um, it's 
slightly different than most instruction books. Most instruction books are kind of long and not really tall and not very book likey. Uh, and this is very book alike. Um, and it's actually a nice one. I do have to say that it, it, it is a nice book. It's thick. So with just one book and it is thick, but it does have some pretty cool features in my opinion. And we'll talk to, we'll talk about that in just one second. So the first page, it just kind of talks to you about the Daily Bugle and some stuff in multiple different languages, which I think is kind of cool. One of my favorite pages has to be this one. It goes through every single character and minifigure that is actually in here. So Spider-Man, Venom, Carnage, Spider-Ham, Ghost Spider or Spider-Gwen, Miles Morales, Dr. Octopus or um, Gwen Stacy, Mysterio, Sandman, Green Goblin, Peter Parker, a.k.a. Spider-Man. Uh, Robbie Robinson, um, Black Cat, Betty Bratt, J. Jonah Jameson, Aunt May, Blade, The Punisher, Ben Orange. I have no idea how to say that guy's name. It's Firestar, Daredevil, and then you get three regular civilians. Um, so starting off the bat, there is a lot of characters. And the thing with Spider-Man, is he's been done um a million different times i mean uh, think about the last two spider movies that have been released had had everything to do with uh multiple different versions of themselves um because they've been done for a lot you know and uh, we have three different entire trilogies of live action spider-mans uh we're about to get a live uh a animated um trilogy which has been great as well uh, for Miles Morales and, you know, other Spider-Man stuff and uh, not even counting other shows and stuff. If, I believe this isn't based on any specific one. Um, and it tries to do its best to kind of hit home at a lot of certain things. If I'm not mistaken, um, like, um, it's not based on any specific trilogy. No, it does have some certain... Um, I guess edges towards certain, certain trilogies, uh, specifically like J. Jonah Jameson. Uh, you can clearly tell what actor they were going for, and it does look just like the actor. Um, and um, but that might be just it's headed towards maybe a little bit more comics. Uh, but I'm not sure. But again, G Green Goblin has is nothing like we've ever seen in any actual movie. Um, so uh, you kind of get the gist of what I'm trying to say. Um, so me personally, um, I know all the characters pretty well, especially in the first side over here. Um, it's when I get to this side, Black Cat, no idea who that character is. Um, the Punisher, I know who that is, but I have never seen, I think he has a show. I've never seen it. Blade, I have an idea who he is, but don't really know. Firestar, no idea. And, uh, Daredevil, again, I believe he also has a show. Um, uh, I've never seen it. I, I get a little bit of what his character is known about, but uh, I not, don't really know that much about him. Um, but pretty cool. I, I do like, I do really like this page. It just kind of really talks about all the figures and stuff. Just some other stuff about the actual set. Um, and uh, yeah, just some other really interesting things. And then it actually goes into the building experience. Um, nothing was confusing whatsoever. And everything in the actual instruction books was nice. So... I have zero complaints there, um, like zero. So instruction book wise, pretty good. Um, box, the box is massive. It's actually almost as tall as the actual set. Um, I think as you guys can see, it's not quite, but generally it's a pretty big box. Uh, it's not that thick though. Um, and it's not in too special for the box. It is a nice looking box, but you know, it is what it is. And uh, you guys will kind of see um, how they have kind of this thing kind of set up. Um, but it, it, it's a great build. Um, so we'll actually move this box to actually give myself some more room. But yeah, this is the box. We'll throw that to the side there. Won't have to worry about that. Um, and I'm not actually sure how I should show you guys this, this monstrosity of a build. Uh, but I think we'll just start with the lowest floors and kind of build back up. I do have kind of a scenery going on with all the figures, but I'm 
just gonna worry about that later. I'm gonna kind of be removing some of those figures. And um, yeah, so we'll take the figures off from here and um, we'll kind of just some of my bright yellow jacket. Um, just got a bright yellow jacket, of course. We'll, we'll kind of just take a look. So again, this is a extremely similar style. This is based on a 32 by 32 base plate, just like modular buildings are built. Um, so it works perfectly to attach to modular buildings. And we'll talk about that where the attachment points are. It's got a very similar design. It's got the little grates uh, that, that all the modular buildings have and the little part for the sidewalk. It's got a, you know, a nice little uh, paved area. There are some places where you can put some people, maybe walk in or <clears throat> coming out of the ground. I think that's pretty good looking. We got two little pots here. I, I do like these are pretty simple builds, but they work really well. And I like the, the color for this little bowl piece. I think it's a maroon color. <clears throat> got a fire hydrant right there. Um, a checkered pattern right here. And then we have a nice little new stand. And um, well, this is going to be a little hard to show you guys a lot of it. Um, this is, of course, um, the Daily Beagle little tiny sign. All three of these are actually stickers. Um, they're not prints. I will try to show you guys which ones are prints and which ones are stickers. There is a lot of stickers in this set. There's also a lot of prints in this set. And I'll tell you which ones I think were a good idea, which ones were I think were a bad idea, and maybe what wasn't entirely necessary. I, I don't know. Um, so, and we'll start here with the first layer, and it kind of builds on, on top of itself, is the extremely simple, yet in my opinion, extremely effective design that this building has. It's these little windows right here. <clears throat> They're these uh, transparent they're not technically windows. I think they're panels technically considered in Lego. They're transparent panels, which are windows are stacked on top of each other and they make the entire building kind of what it is. Um, and uh, there's a bunch of it in this set. I actually don't know how many of that one piece is in the set, but it is a lot. Let me look it up. The instruction book is right here, so it should not take me a long time to find. There is 347 of that specific one piece. That's a lot, a lot for a single piece. Um, and then they use these with jumpers uh, or headlight bricks. No, not headlight bricks. I think they're, they're modified bricks. They look like the um, these. I think they're for, I don't know. They're used for a bunch of different things, but they're used for texturing on all the sides. It's columns and they look pretty good. Um, and then they have some of these little spots right here where you can kind of pose a bunch of figures. And it, it is pretty good for posing a lot of figures. Um, kind of in, in different ways. Um, so again, looks really, really good overall. This right here is supposed to be a stack of um, newspaper, and this right here is an actual print. And this is this is actually one that is printed multiple different times all over the set, and that is kind of what it looks like. Kind of right there. And actually, you can take this entire thing kind of apart. I'll kind of show you guys there, and I just have a regular major figure in there. Uh, these the Three on the left are actually stickers. The New York ones are stickers. And this one right here is actually a print with um, the Kingpin. Um, they are right there. Well, that's a pretty cool print. The new stand is actually also a sticker. So as you can see, there is some prints. There are some stickers. It's a combination of both. I like the little stands. It's pretty simple and it kind of works well. And uh, yeah, it, it, it looks good in my opinion. Move on to the side over here. And... Um, it's kind of alley looking, and we'll talk about how the alley looks in a little bit. I've heard some complaints, some great stuff about it. Um, we'll go over here. So there's a rat piece right here. Uh, this is not like our regular rats. I think this is a brand new rat design. He looks very good, very detailed. He's more of a brown, more of a what the actual rat kind of looks like in real life. Um, he's got even pupils there, and uh, he's pretty cool. And he's got his little jumper that he goes on, which is nice. Uh, we have this, which I think this is supposed to be some type of electric. These are both prints. And these right here are the actual spots where you can put the pins so you can actually attach it right next to a modular building. It will create a little alleyway right here. Um, and we will talk about that specific alleyway in a second. Um, and if it looks good, if it doesn't look good, and we'll talk about that in a second. Um, 
it towards the back here. We'll remove some of these figures once again to try to show you guys. Again, I'm just showing you guys the, the, the layer of the downstairs. We got two of these little dumpster builds. Um, pretty simple. We got some uh, like a, some cherries or something and a messed up hot dog. We are in New York City, so hot dogs are pretty, pretty, pretty big in New York. We got, you know, those special hot dog stands or whatever. Got another one in here. And we got some sodas. Uh, these are actually all have printed pieces right there with that one. And it fell on the ground and I'll pick that up later. Uh, this is supposed to be an air conditioning back here. And you do actually get one of the little pigeon or bird pieces. N nice little brick, bank, uh, brick built lamp and a door. And actually, I'm going to just take this. Maybe I'm not going to take this door off. All right, maybe, maybe I won't. Okay, there we go, it worked. I'm gonna show you guys the actual sticker. Uh, it says, do not exit, I mean, do not exit, do not block. And you got some like, maybe, uh, this is for Eddie, Eddie Brock. Um, um, and I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Maybe that's a reference that you guys get and I don't. And on either side, it does say exit, push to open. So yeah, pretty cool, the back door or whatever. Let's see if I can put this back here. There we go. Over here we have a nice, another little, Jesus. Another little uh, thing, it's a spider web. And if you pull this up, you actually see a nice little backpack. It's a joke that usually in the comics or, or in the movies or animated stuff, uh, Spider-Man always has to change and uh, there's where he can change either to Spider-Man or into Peter Parker. So. Nice little build there, nice and adds so much, I think, to the actual um, build. So that's pretty cool. Bring that to this side over here, and um, we'll take Doc Ock here, who's climbing that, move him to the side. And um, we kind of just have, again, not too much. We have just some boxes here, and these are the other pin connection points where you can go. And then they have this right here. Um, but again, but pretty plain. It's a pretty great build throughout a lot of it. Um, and actually, oh, I forgot to show you guys this. This right here is supposed to be a great piece, like, um, you know, and this is actually a sticker as well. Sewer or whatever. And, um, yeah, just place right there. That is a sticker that you also place. And you can't remove this, but we'll, I'll show you guys that in one second. Now we're going to actually show you guys the inside of the first floor. This is thing a tiny bit scary to actually take apart. I'm not a big fan of actually taking this thing apart. Ooh. It worked. It worked. Okay, cool. Um, I'm surprised because I, I that's the one thing I do not like about this build. It is no, because it's so tall. It's kind of scary to take apart. Now, to show you guys inside of this, it's actually kind of hard. Um, this build is super deep. And... Um, yeah, so we'll actually start here showing you guys this. It does have a sliding door. It's a super easy technique. It just has a, um, kind of just shoves it in in a certain position. And um, yeah, it's just a sliding door. It's a really simple technique. There's some plate uh, there. So the piece is kind of forced to slide through here. Um, it stops there, you know, super simple, but it works. And um, over here, you can remove this side and this is not for an action feature. It's actually to get your hands in there a little bit better. Um, I guess it could be seen as an action figure, uh, action feature that, you know, they can blow up an entire wall or something. Uh, but um, no, it's, I think it's mostly just for you to be able to actually access part of the inside um, yourself. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's the actual size. Okay. Um, and this thing is kind of really hard to try to kind of see inside. Um, <sighs> this is going to be a little fun. All right. You guys can kind of see inside. So over here we have right over here. Uh, maybe if you guys would focus. Yeah, right there. So we have a the same type of uh, prints. That we saw out here it's the same one that is placed right there just some more newspaper stuff 
Uh, we have a nice little bending machine there in the corner. And I actually think I can take that out for you guys um, and show you guys. This is what it looks like. It's a very nice build. And those are actually all blue cans and they get the printed tops on the top. A nice little keypad. That's a sticker right there. It says a uh, web juice. Nice, funny little sticker. But again, super simple, but it looks great um, to, uh, to actually put drinks in there. Nice, again, another nice little build. Kind of just places in there as well. Jesus, this thing is hard to show you guys in. Uh, you have some seats there, and we have a bunch of different uh, characters inside sitting. These are not meant for my big boy hands. Jesus Christ. Um, so there's just some seating right there as well. Uh, there's some lights right there. Don't know why there's lights. There's some green. I, guess, I think those are lights. This is where the actual uh, thing goes for the little backpack. So that's that. Over here, this is a massive TV, I think. And it has a sticker on it. Um, let me actually grab that for you guys and try to show you. It's on a ball joint. And this is what it looks like. This is a sticker and a big panel. And it's based on a vampire uh, spotted on the subway. And of course it has to do with Blade since Blade is the one that hunts down vampires. Actually, I'll keep this away so you guys can actually take a better look on the side here. Over here, you have a nice little desk area. Nice, I like how that desk is built. There's a radio um, that's supposed to be handcuffs. Um, a door or something to walk through right there. I'm sorry, I'm really trying. This is a little hard. And this is supposed to be the elevator to get upstairs. Um, so we'll talk about the elevator in a second. Uh, there's some stuff on the, I guess, on the little desk. And these are three printed, uh, I think, pieces. Uh, they're supposed to be references towards some stuff. And I'm going to try to show you guys them. Uh, that's the first one. New York City, new building for New York City, number one newspaper. That's the Daily Bugle. Um, Jesus Christ. I'm telling you guys, this is not exactly the easiest thing to kind of look at. This is the second one. And then it says, um, Lego Man Walks on the Moon. Um, no idea what that is referenced to, but I think it's pretty funny. Uh, that's more of a generic, uh, more of a generic one. And I still think that's funny though. Uh, and then this one is, um, Spider-Man Threat or Menace. So, of course, uh, J. Jonah Jameson hates Spider-Man. That's a pretty funny one as well. So, pretty cool. All right. Now, these are also prints down here. It's like, um... Right there, these are they're they're printed. Uh, I think those are considered tiles, tiles by one, one by one tiles. Uh, they're printed, uh, so they're printed around that little triangle. The triangle is transparent, and there's another piece, and I'll show you guys that later. This elevator is actually not real. It doesn't exist. It's fake. It's just a facade. Um, so that's pretty interesting. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break, and we'll go into the next floor. All right, so. Just put the second floor on, and uh, this is kind of what it looks like, and we'll kind of take a look at it. Um, so one of the biggest parts about the actual build of the Daily Bugle is the big um, fire escape um, bright red uh, that is done on the side of the building. Um, and it's a pretty simple build. Um, so if you stretch this down, you can basically get to the bottom. Um, and a minifigure will, would climb up the ladder um i guess he would just kind of go on top and then climb this way i'm not really sure uh what it's supposed to completely look like um there's nothing under here and then there's just these that uh i guess it's interesting but it's in you know it does it does the job uh again very simple design once again this is technically where the elevator goes you have these windows right here, uh, and then you do have this tiny little section right here, which is done with um, a super simple little build. And um, 
like that. Um, they do like to online themselves, so like do that, specifically this one. So um, that's a thing. And um, yeah, and this section, of course, has the big billboards. Uh, just like in a lot of city stuff or, you know, New York City, big billboards, big billboards are kind of popular. And this one has a couple. You can actually take this off and I'll show you guys. And this is uh, the smaller one. This is earlier today. Um, villains promise to stop being bad guys. Can we? Can they be trusted? We have this one. Um, and it says clone epidemic out of control. This is Scarlet Sp Spider, which is a different Spider-Man or Spider-Woman. I don't know. I actually don't recognize that one very well. This is uh, Dr. Kirk Connors or the Lizard. And Professor Miles Warren. I actually do not remember who he is supposed to be. And it does says vote Osborne for mayor or the goblin. Um, so again, this is kind of what it looks like. Now, a lot of people I have heard complain about the repetitiveness of this. And uh, just the overall, these sections. You build this right here. You have five of these together. And then you put these two little modified plates. And you make like, I don't know, a couple of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, like 13 of them. But I honestly don't think it's that bad. Uh, and then the build is done. So this is a section. And this is very modular-like. You can, you can just kind of put it. And then you have these that are your, uh, kind of are placed and placed right here. So, uh, you know, you have even more space to really get your hands in there. Um, you do have to be careful though, because these do not like to stay the best, especially if you're moving the thing around. Definitely take this thing at least in two parts because this thing will fall apart on you. All right, and let's actually look inside here and uh, see kind of what is happening. Um, so, oh, I didn't mean to take the actual. Sure. Okay, if I can put, so we have this like kind of bright, um, this like bus yellow um, color here on the, on the floor. We have a stack of newspapers over there. Um, and I'll show you guys that one in a second. A trash can, we have a, a, a seat, another seat over here. This is a coffee mug. Um, a coffee, and this is an actual coffee mug. We got some like uh, drawers there. Uh, over here we have, I'm not sure what this is supposed to represent, but maybe a little mini fridge. Another coffee mug. Uh, this is actually um, a coffee maker, or at least a coffee kettle. Uh, and then that's some um, donuts or pastries. Again, these are the same printed pieces there towards the back. And then we have even more um, of these right here and this is this one says time scare and that's the green goblin right there so that's pretty cool pretty neat if i can get my hand in there and not break everything that would be nice this okay it's a little it's kind of hard to kind of get it your fingers in there there you go this second one says spider-man no more. That's a pretty cool one as well. And the last one actually might be the hardest one to actually get. Without me trying to break the entire thing apart. Got it. Fell on the floor, but I got it. And this one says, Doc Ock still at large. So, Dr. Octavius. Um... And over here we have uh, a nice little like water dispenser and a bottle there. Um, we got some little desks kind of shown all over the little area. It's gonna be a little hard to actually kind of see. Um, this little pillar has a bunch of different prints uh, as well as a bunch of little other stuff like that. So this one right there, let's see if I can actually Can I get it to focus there? 
Or maybe I'll see if I can take that one out as well. All right. Also fell on the ground. I'm good at doing that, guys. I'm trying to show you guys the actual prints. Um, it says uh, Nelson Murdoch one big lawsuit. I actually don't. Oh, Murdoch is um. Murdoch is uh. Daredevil. Is it, 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 isn't that? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's Daredevil. If I'm not mistaken, he's blind. All right, he's a lawyer. Uh, we also have this one that says uh, Rhino Escaped Zoo. Uh, these are all stickers. There's another one right there. It's the exact same one. And this one's also printed over here. So uh, there's these two. And uh, you can see them on the other side. This is another stack of um, stuff. But we've seen this one already. Uh, this is a sticker right there for a computer screen. Um, there right there is another computer screen. Sorry, it's really hard to try to get a look at some of these. Um, but yeah, I think everything else you guys are going to see. There's a small little lamp build. Oh, and then there is this other last little one. Um, I don't, I maybe that's supposed to represent Sandman. I'm not entirely sure. Um, so there's that last uh, screen. So yeah, it's a little hard to really get in there. But it looks good. I like it. I like how it looks. It's a pretty cool build, I do have to say. Um, so that is this floor. Um, and now we can actually move on to the floor after this. So we can just kind of place this down. Let's see if I can actually... Jesus Christ. Okay, without knocking everything over. There we go. Cool. All right, and the next, Jesus. Oh. All right. We go on to the next floor here. This floor is a little annoying to actually get on the bad boy. There we go. And this is the actual uh, third floor here. That we're gonna take a look at. Gonna actually move up a little bit. We'll take uh, Mr. Carnage out of here. So this one has a pretty cool feature there, and it's the Green Goblin escaping on his um, little glider there. So that's pretty cool. Got a nice little brick built uh, glider there. No stickers, no prints there. Um, and this is done with basically ball joints. You get these nice little sub assemblies and then you kind of attach them. I do not believe you have the exact pieces you need to actually construct this normally, but uh, you do have most of them. You have these two, which are the long ones that you put in the middle and you do have a good amount of those. So um, I don't think you have enough, but you have almost enough. And this part is kind of easy to break there you go um and then you have also these little explosion pieces which are again supposed to represent explosions or something which is kind of cool and of course there is actually a little bit of a tapering so a, the, this section is thinner than the other section over here um which um doesn't make sense um Uh, I, I don't I don't know how this is a thing and how I don't know I haven't seen any, much people say anything about it. The elevator is supposed to be here. It's supposed to be pretty thin, but it's here. You know, it's um, represented there, and um, because this is where it is, uh, but in the next room, it's right here. So the elevator had to go up this way. Then at some point, go this way and then up. Um, it doesn't make any sense. Um, you've, you've lost me there. You completely lost me. Um, it does not make any sense where the elevator kind of goes. And I'll kind of show you guys. Of course, you can take this off. This section right here. Just like you would. The other sections. You see, the elevator is right here. Um, 
Yeah, that's not where the elevator was. It's pretty stupid, but it is what it is. You have a similar brick uh, brick built lamp, like you saw all the way at the bottom. And you get a nice little balcony area. Like, these like to move. You can put some figures here or something. Uh, it's cool. I like it. I like the tapering idea of the different thinner from the top. It's a very um common um, thing that you see in buildings, specifically skyscrapers and stuff. And over here is actually Peter Parker's room. So he's got a picture of Spider-Man over there. Um, that is a sticker. Uh, he's got a uh, a phone, a chair, and a, a desk. That's it. I do actually like this brick bag dust. Uh, it's actually got... Um, it's not flat, which is nice. Uh, and he's got, I guess, this. And I believe that's maybe supposed to be sticky notes. Um, but... Um, they could have given us the printed sticky note pieces that they're somewhat common and not even extremely rare. That would have been nice. Um, and I think that means that he was fired because um, his office is completely empty. There's just some boxes there. There's his, a camera, maybe his camera. Uh, there's a pizza box right there. There's some drawers kind of covering the door. There's a spider. Big spider web up here. This is the actual door to the back room. Um, this is a copper copier. Which looks good, small, nice little build. Jesus, and I just dropped that. And that's what I mean, you have to be careful. I was just moving it. I think I hit it slightly and the entire thing just kind of fell over. Um, so I, 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 am, I, I am being honest when I do be, be careful with these little things on the side. It, they do like to fall over. And this is another printed piece. That's what it's called. I don't know what that print is really about it's a cool print i like it it's just kind of a little random and kind of hard to actually get there so yeah that's this floor pretty plain again they're they're a lot smaller and thinner so you get a little bit less this time especially from the back over here but it looks good still so i'm actually going to take a tiny bit of a cut and then i'll see you guys in our last floor all right and now we're on to the last floor of the actual building um so Again, it's it's pretty high up here. Um, I'm standing, and this is pretty much up to my shoulders. Um, this, is, I, I, this is a pretty raised table, to be fair. Um, so, again, it's a pretty standard um, look, pretty flat. You do have these little poles here, which is also good to um, have figures kind of hold on to, which is nice. Uh, on the side here, it's, once again, super plain. Uh, you do get this little spot right here. And that's actually to put your little um, spider mobile. Uh, you can kind of have him kind of going upwards or whatever, which is cool. Towards the back here, you do actually get a little bit of uh, stuff. So it's pretty similar over here on the overall design. The difference is that you get another one of these AC units. And this is with another bird, but you do get an actual nice little nest. And then another little billboard right here, which is kind of cool with uh, just the fact with J. Jonah Jameson. And at the side here, again, pretty much the standard thing that they've been doing for a while. Also, I don't know if I showed you this part, but this is a little area where you can kind of pose a figure. Um, again, just the overall same type of look with the entire build. Um, so, yeah. And, of course, you can take off this section right here. Um, kind of, again, just kind of placed in there. And you're going to be able to see a couple little details. What I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to take off this section and, and lower it. Um, cause this is just a really hard type of, um, place to actually show you guys, um, how it kind of looks like. So I'm just going to try to take off this floor here and we'll show you like this. And we'll actually get the entire base to the side here. And then we're actually just going to drop it. There we go. It's just going to make it easier for us to actually look at it. Uh, this section is pretty cool. Do to say so we get a nice little cool desk build over here uh, again just a nice little um seat uh, you get a nice little uh what's it called uh, another keyboard whatever you get the actual printed pieces and you guys can pretty see them pretty well and this right here is supposed to be a nice little tv it's a sticker um got a nice little bit of detail a glass door got a lot of windows this maroon nice color which is cool um, and over here is actually J. Jonah Jameson's office, um, which is kind of nice, actually. I like this office. 
And you can actually take this uh, uh, little desk built out pretty easily. And it just said, Peter Parker, you're fired. Right there. And that's a sticker. And this is a actual printed piece. And he does also get uh, uh, an actual um, little thing. Keyboard piece that's also printed. You get some rewards. Awards or something. I don't know what that's supposed to be. And an actual mug. So pretty cool. Oh, and you do get a chair, but um, for some reason I had, I took him off with his actual chair there as well. So, can I just put that back into place and kind of put him back into place just like that. And that's that floor. So, right there, kind of just gonna place this back. And that's it. Pretty cool, right? Now I'm actually gonna show you the actual um, Daily Bugle and the, the roof, basically. The roof, once again, super simple details. If it wants to go on. I had had this issue, actually. I don't get, usually don't get this with modular buildings because they're pretty on the spot. But I have seen it with this building, at least. Kind of gets a little stucky. All right, so this is what it looks like. You get nice, this little tiny little uh, features throughout the entire side here. Um, again, pretty cool. But the roof has, of course, the actual brick built sign. It's a super simple technique, but it works really well with Daily Bugle and it has a kind of a good little thing to it. Um, this is kind of, I think a, it's supposed to be a trumpet, if I'm not mistaken. Um, nice little brick bit brick built trumpet um that really cool color scheme um looks good overall this might be a little too low actually um it was pretty cool it's actually one of the last things you actually do so um it looks good it comes out very far and i like it I like how much it really stands out um but yeah it's an overall pretty cool looking technique over here you do actually get a water tower and actually take this entire water tower build out you do get a sticker there for Miles Morales, and that one for, I believe, is, this thing is not wanting to focus. Green Goblin, nice little, but, oh, I guess kind of big, actually, um, water uh, water tower, but it looks great. I, I really do like how it looks, um, just looks nice, so I can definitely appreciate that. This over here is supposed to, this is actually a printed piece. I think I can show you guys right there. That is a printed piece. And this is gonna be the satellite thing. So for airplanes, because you know, it's so tall or whatever. I think that's what they're for. It's got the little uh, light there on the top. Light, the piece. And these are supposed to be all a bunch of satellites. You get these three right here and this one right here. You also get where um, Firestar, I think her name is, uh, can kind of pose. Uh, you got this thing on the ball joint, and this is supposed to be her fire. You can place her there, and she's kind of flying around, um, which is kind of cool. You get a lot of these fire um, little pieces, which is nice. All right, so that's the, I guess, the regular review of the stuff. We're going to show you guys some other stuff. Talk to a little bit afterwards. Again, this is a long video because this is a large set. Be right back. All right, this section of the video is going to be size comparison and we'll then we'll look at the minifigures and the other small builds on the side but i want to just show you guys the absolute size of this building i um, mean this is a tiny bit of a lifted table but i, I want to show you guys the comparison to actual minifigures and other cool stuff so this right here is a minifigure um and um that's well actually you can't actually see him that's what a figure looks like now, this is an actual, not a skyscraper, but it's um, it's a big building, um, and it looks great. Now, I'm going to actually show you guys, again, some modular buildings and some other cool stuff. So, this is actually one of the sets that I recently reviewed, and that's the size um, of the big minifigure, and I love it. I love this set. Um, I actually reviewed it here on the channel not that long ago, and um, he's about... Basically two stories high. Um, and he's a pretty big guy because he stands up to modular buildings. And that should give you a guess on how big he is compared to modular buildings. So I have actually here. Let 
This is actually one of the shortest modular buildings in the modular building collection, right here. So that's what it looks like next to a one of the shortest modular buildings here. Um, yeah, it towers. It it is so much bigger. Now this is um, part of the bookshop, uh, a set that I've actually built, but not yet reviewed, and I will review it soon um, here in the channel. Actually, built it a while ago, and I've been meaning to review it. I just haven't got to it. Um, this is a pretty small one compared to some of the other ones, some of the uh, like the fire brigade. Town Hall, the Cafe Corner, and a lot of other ones are pretty tall. I think this is one of the shorter ones. It's actually one of the reasons why they said it's not entirely low because they believe this one's pretty short. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what it looks like next to this building, and it just makes it look so much bigger. Now I'll show you guys a different one. Now this is a non, oh my God, I literally almost filmed up this entire thing. That would have not been cool. Now this is a non Lego module building. I I didn't feel like bringing out a whole module building downstairs um, cause fuck that. Um, so this is a fake module building, but it, again, it's an exact replica. It's just not a real Lego, uh, but um, I wanted, because this one's pretty tall, uh, the other module buildings go around here. They just don't have this section. So this is the, the cafe corner. It's actually the first module building that came out, but this is non-Lego. Just want to point that out for you guys. Um, yeah, so this is what it kind of looks like. Um, it is, it, it's, this is a pretty tall one too because of the little section in the corner. Um, and this thing still oh, towers everything else. It's so cool. What it does create though, um, because of how the module buildings are kind of made, um, is alleyways and I'll show you guys that in just one second so this is kind of what it would kind of look like next to some other buildings now unlike a lot of modular buildings they lay next to each other uh, this one won't and it creates this kind of alleyway that you guys are kind of seeing right here um, and um, don't pay attention to any of the noises and it's pretty interesting so it kind of creates an alleyway which I kind of like, but at the same time, again, it creates kind of a bit of an issues when it comes to buildings. I think it depends what building you put it next to. It might work better than others because some buildings have ugly sides and some don't. It also hides away a little bit of that um, piece right here. So, you know, part of this is uh, kind of hidden away and I touched it in a good way. So um, there's that. Again, you can technically, I didn't actually touch the other one over there and I'm just gonna see if I can flip this entire thing and just kind of show you guys what the back of this area looks like. Just wanna kind of show you guys here. So I'm trying to do this with one hand and this is a little bit difficult. There we go. So again, it kind of works. Uh, but I know for some people, they're not going to be the biggest fan. It does not uh, uh, lay flush towards another building. I actually like it. I, it adds a very New York type of field to it. Um, so it does create a little bit of alleyways, which for some people is a good thing. For others, it might not be. So got to watch out for that. As well. Now we're also going to be taking a look at the other small little side builds that it comes with. And we'll first take a look at the little... Um, spider mobile now the spider mobile has always kind of been a joke because spider-man can literally swing around the city why in the hell would he have a car um and i don't know the answer is comic books are weird so it's got some detail in there in the back i don't know maybe it starts to go super fast it is slanted this direction it's got bigger wheels in the bottom the back than it does the front it that is a sticker not a print um it's got a stand rail I think that's supposed to be represent kind of a windshield, and those are also stickers that are on the side. And again, you can place it on top of the building, like seen in the beginning of the video, and kind of a, that one section as well. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Adds a little bit something. Um, you also get this nice taxi build, and I think this is actually a really nice build. 
um, not even having to be related with Spider-Man or anything. It looks nice. It's kind of old style, which I kind of like. This is what the front looks like. It is um, six studs wide, uh, probably around eight with the fenders and everything. Um, so it's got uh, headlights there. This is a sticker right here. It's a pretty cool technique. Um, wheels there. This is also a sticker on this side as well as this side. This is what the back looks like. I don't know why that piece, they decided to go with that piece as well. Um, and uh, maybe like a broken headlight or something. Um, this is supposed to be the exhaust. It's actually done with a pistol. Kind of put there in a clip. Um, and it's supposed to show the exhaust of the actual car, which I think is a, a great technique um, to show the little exhaust. This right here as well is also a sticker. And it does fit two figures, one here and one here. So it does carry more than one character, which is, of course, what a taxi should do. So overall, a really nice build. I like how different it looks and kind of oldie style it kind of looks. Got more of an older cab. Um, so that's pretty cool. And lastly is this right here. So this is actually a brick built thing for Sandman. Of course, Sandman, you can, I think this is the best place you can probably put it. Um, Sandman's coming out of the, the ground and um, it's kind of a, this is supposed to be like a part of the sidewalk or maybe the street and the sand with him. You can actually place the Sandman um, character right here. Uh, like he really is popping out of the actual um, sand. And then we'll actually show you guys the figures. All right, so we'll kind of go in uh, kind of order and I'll show, be showing you guys kind of the figures and then um, kind of who they're supposed to be. So this is um, Bernie, uh, the cab driver. I believe this is him. Pretty generic for him. He's just got the regular cap, a regular hoodie piece, which you've seen before. And I don't recognize that face, but I don't know if it's exclusive to this set or not. So just the regular civilian, he's the cab driver. Pretty cool, generic character as well. Another generic character right here. This is um, Amber Grant. Um, again, this this could be things from uh, books or comics. I don't know. They just said civilians. Um, I think I have seen that uh, torso piece before. I don't think it's exclusive to her. Um, and then that dual molded headpiece, which is nice. Um, and she does actually have an alternate face, which is cool. So pretty cool character there as well. And this last one is um, Ron Barney. Um, I like his sweater, kind of an ugly sweater type of look. Uh, some nice printing there towards the back. Uh, again, I don't know if any of this stuff is exclusive to the figure, uh, but he does look pretty cool. So I do like him. Maybe you can set one of them up um, here in the newsstand over here. Um, you know, switch the rolls around, which is kind of nice. Now I'm actually going to be showing you guys some of the other characters that are in here that are actual characters. So this is the Daily Bugle editor. Uh, this guy is Robbie Robinson. Um, so that's what he looks like. I love his torso. Um, I, again, I don't know if it's actually unique to the set or not, but it's cool. I like it. It's not one I've seen very often. Does not have a back printing. That's okay. Don't mind that. I do like the sand green uh, pants. Uh, that's what his face, and he does actually have an alternate face there as well. So that's pretty cool. All right, we do have um, Betty Brandt, uh, Bugle staff member and romantic interest of Peter. One of them, of course. Uh, she's the secretary for... Um, I know a lot of the time she's a secretary for uh, Mr. J Jonah Jameson. Um Again, don't know if the, the torso is unique to this character. Does have printing there at the back. That's what her face looks like. And that's the other side as well. So a lot of these guys, characters do actually have reverse printing, which is awesome. All right. Next one is um, Bugle Reporter. Um, always first with the big stories, Ben Urch. I think this is the one I, I don't recognize entirely. Um, I love his torso piece. Very cool. I love it. Uh, very good printing there towards the back. I do like his face. I do believe that is 100% uh, unique to this figure, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think a lot of the faces are probably unique, but they're not. maybe not all of them. And he does actually have a 
That is Walter White. Oh my God, that's literally Walter White. That is literally Walter White. That is such a great face for Walter White. Tell me that doesn't look like him. Has anybody ever said anything about that? That's literally Walter White. Anyways, um, yeah, that's the character. Great character, another one to be added right there. And of course, the one and only and the last, oh, uh, one of the last ones, Peter Parker, just a regular reporter that was recently fired and the guy behind the mask. So he's the one that takes great pictures of Spider-Man, of course, because he is Spider-Man. A pretty generic person, actually. He doesn't look like any of the characters from the movies or anything. I get it. He They went with more of a generic look, which I kind of like. So pretty cool. Do like that torso piece. Again, I don't know if it's um, unique to the set or not. And he does have a second expression there, which is pretty cool. So another great character there. Of course, J. Jonah Jameson, the big boy, the man who owns the Daily Bugle, the Spider-Man hater himself. Do not believe that torso is unique to this set. Believe that is unique to him. That uh, face print is definitely new to him, though. And that's that second printing. That's a pretty funny one as well. Um, and he looks just like the actor went from the original... Um, what's it called? Uh, the original trilogy of the spider-man movies um and um of course when he also got recasted in the newest ones um which is pretty funny um we're also going to show you guys another character here this is going to be um brain freeze uh gwen stacy peter's college crush and the ghost spider um of course um torso piece don't know if that's uh, unique to the character but it's a cool one. It's not specific to anything, which is nice. Got some printing in the back, face printing, and back printing. So you can go for more of an angry look, which I like. And of course, Aunt May. Aunt May is such an important character for the actual stuff and things. And she's got some cookies. I added this piece because I kept falling off. She got some cookies there or something. Aunt May looks great. Again, the torso is another great piece printing there in the back. You can actually see a little bit of peeking through her face. And she does have an alternate face there right there. So that's pretty cool. Now, the only character that I can possibly see that is not here out of um, probably the some of the, the bigger ones, uh, other characters, um, would be... Um, Mary Jane. Uh, there is no Mary Jane in this set, which is kind of interesting. There's a Gwen Stacy, uh, but no Mary Jane. So um, that's just interesting, I guess. Uh, and then we'll actually go through some of the villains of uh, Spider-Man. Sandman. Sandman is pretty cool. I think we have seen this guy in some other sets, specifically with this piece. So it's, that piece isn't unique to the set. Um, he's got like a sand arm right there, cool printing. Um, nice printing chair towards the back. That is, I believe, a generic clone head. Kind of wish they could have done better there, which means there is no reverse head. But I think it looks works uh, looks good and it works well for the character. So nice figure there. Um, we have Mysterio there. This is a great looking figure. Just absolutely cool looking. Just so great looking. He's got a uh, a cape. This is a software style cape. Um, and that is the printing there towards the back. Kind of what they went for. And this is a, a nice printing. Looks like you got massive abs. Um, the fishbowl type of head. And um, it's actually just a gray head. And this is, it's kind of like, um, it's frosty come almost in the inside. Which uh, hides his identity pretty nicely. So no face then, again, which is kind of cool. We do have here the one and only, the Green Goblin. This is very um, comic book-y. He's very goblin-y look here. Um, so he's he's got absolutely great printing. Printing on his legs, uh, feet, legs, hip, um, his actual torso. He's got the actual thing there. He's got printing on the back. His face printing. He's got a like, nice little headpiece and printing there towards the back of the head as well. So. They did not cheap on this figure, and he looks great, so pretty cool. And of course, he does have his glider, 
Uh, Doc Ock is another great figure, and they always kind of find a way to make his arms different. And, um, yeah, this is a pretty interesting one. Uh, so, we'll kind of get this guy a little bit closer. So, he's got um, pretty man print, no leg printing, which is kind of sad. He's got some torso printing. I do like that torso print. I do like his face. Um, and towards the back here, this is the little piece that's actually holding him together. That's his back printing, his uh, alternate face. And he does actually have some nice back printing, which is nice. I like that attention to detail. They didn't skimp out on that. Uh, this is actually, again, as somebody who did the building experience of this set, actually, in my opinion, the most annoying section to build in the entire set actually has to be his little arms. A great technique. You can really get a nice movement. You can actually just kind of move these around and kind of get different looks to them. Uh, but um, make them a little more shorter. Get them a little bit more wide. Um, get them kind of looking very well. Uh, but super tedious to actually build. In my opinion, is the worst and the, the most tedious part to actually build. Uh, we have Venom, of course. Our Eddie Brock. No Eddie Brock character, but, you know, maybe he's Venom. Um, so one of the uh, actual characters that plays, um, not plays, but is Venom at some point or another, depends, you know. Um, so this is pretty cool. Uh, the Venom character is, I don't think, is unique to the set. Um, there's that printing for the face. Pretty wildy for the face and the torso. It's got this piece there towards the back, you know, show all the Venom-y stuff. All the goos coming out and he does have some back print in there, so. Pretty cool. Just gonna, there we go. Um, who else? Oh, Carnage here. Carnage is also here. Of course, we have recently seen uh, him actually pop up in his, kind of his own movie with Venom. Um, more recently, um, he's got really cool stuff. He's got printing on his feet, his legs, hip, torso, and his actual head. Great printing for the head. And uh, back of the head actually too as well, which is again, once again, they're not cheap out on this figure. Great looking figure. And he does have some printing there towards the back of his head as well. Again, they made him look like he's um, really coming out with all that goo and, you know, stuff that he usually comes out with. And I do like that they have different type of looks. Um, he has more, you know, he's got more blade stuff than actual Venom, so... Pretty cool. Uh, he's got more blades on the top, but he doesn't. So, okay, kind of a. They're not the exact same uh, characters. And then the other ones are not technically villains. Um, and we'll kind of go through some of the other ones here. We have the one and only Spider Man himself. So, this is a pretty good Spider Man, I do have to say. I don't know if this is like the best Spider Man they've ever released or anything. Again, I don't collect all the Spider Mans or anything like that. He does get dual molded legs. I love that. Totally behind that. Great torso. He's got arm printing, which is good. Not enough opaqueness there. It is too dark compared to the torso side, but it's printed, so I'll take it. Printing on his face and printing on the back. So overall, a really good figure, and he does get um, his nice little uh, web to actually sling. Swing. Sling. Uh, we got um, the one and only... Spider Ham. This is a pretty funny one as well. I like that they introduced him. Uh, this is definitely a unique uh, character for this uh, set. Um, he's got. Um, I think he technically does have. He's got a different actual torso than Spider Man. I don't know if it's exclusive to him. He doesn't get leg um, arm printing either, but he gets an awesome looking head. Um, very unique to the character. And uh, looks really good, action. I really like it. So uh, uh, this was a pretty funny addition, of course. And we saw him in um, the Into the Spider Verse, and he will definitely show up in the third movie as well. We got, um, of course, this is a fan favorite, Ghost Spider or Spider Gwen, whatever you like to call it. It looks like she's shooting some spider webs. Um, pretty interesting character there. Torso printing, no leg printing or arm, uh, feet print or anything like that. This is what the back looks like. And, of course, it actually did a uh, hood in an interesting position. Um, so just kind of a simple headpiece. And this is what the hood piece. I don't remember this hood piece, like, at all. But I like it. So uh, I don't remember it too often. So, But I do like the piece overall. So 
And the last Spider version of any of them is Miles Morales, of course. Um, he's um, got his own, basically getting his own trilogy now. Great movies. I do recommend if you guys haven't seen them already. And he's got, uh, he gets also great printing everywhere. Dual molded legs. Great torso. Printing. And his face is also very good. Done as well. Gets printing on both sides. So, great there. Uh, only way you could have made it better is, you know, he got like the accurate to like the, the movie that was released with his shoes and everything. And these are some of the other characters that we do actually end up seeing. This is Daredevil. This is a great figure as well. Um, he gets these. Um, I don't remember. Um, these might be exclusive in this color. I think this piece has already been done before, but do not quote me on that. Pretty cool piece though. Um, great to add that. That is his torso. Pretty cool, and that's his face. He does not get an alter face, but he does get some nice back printing. We're also gonna get, um, this is Black Cat. This is definitely the one I, I am least uh, familiar with. She also gets dual molded legs, so that's cool as hell. She, get, she gets a really cool um, torso piece and nice face printing as well. And she does get a reverse print there. And she does come with her black whip. Blade there. This one's a pretty cool character. I do like him. Um, he looks pretty funny. I love his face printing. It looks very um, non lego <laughs> I really like his face printing. Um, uh, that torso printing is also really good. Um, very metallic. Very reflective. Which is nice. Subtle. But it works very well. Got the, his blades of course in the back. He's got, he's actually got some back printing, so I can appreciate that, you know, not in too detailed or anything, but it's back printing and I like it, so didn't cheap out on him either. This is a uh, Firestar. I think I've been seeing this one, right? Yeah, Firestar. I, I'm not familiar with this character either as well. Um, so this is kind of what she looks like. She's got um, no leg printing, no hip printing. Nice torso print though. Uh, we got some printing there in the back. She's got two faces as well, so. Pretty cool, she gets this nice red hair piece. And one of the cool ones I do have to say is the Punisher. This is a great character to actually get. He does get dual molded legs. He's got cool pistols. That's kind of a little brick built one. Um, so, gotta take those off the rim. Pretty cool, right? Got some printing there in the back. And he does actually get some reverse print, um, alternate face look there. So, that's pretty cool. And that's all the figures, a lot of figures, a lot of fun stuff with this set. Um, and we'll show you guys some of the last things I wanna say. Now, this is a long video, um, very thorough, and I'm tired. Um, what can I say about this set? It's beautiful. It's an absolute massive set. It's super tall. It's a great build. I actually do not hate the building experience. I've heard that as a, a big diss about this set that some people just don't like. The building experience, it's repetitive, and I'm about to disagree. I think the most repetitive section is going to be this section. I think this one and this one is actually done pretty well. This section is not repetitive whatsoever. I think the only floor that gets repetitive with the windows is the top floor. That's it. I think they did such a good job to make sure that you are not doing the same steps over and over and over again, multiple different times, as least as possible. And it works. Again, other than this top floor, building the set was fine. I do also have to warn that because how these are also put, which is a great feature, I also don't like that they're so easy to take off, but also um, they're so easy to take off, which is great, but also they fall out really easily, which is can be a bad thing. A small little hit from right here and this thing will fall off completely. So I just have noticed this and do be careful if you're gonna be moving this thing around. Another thing is stickers. Um, this set has a lot of them. Actually two sheets worth. This is the first sticker sheet. This is the second sticker sheet. Now, this set also has a lot of prints and I get some of these cannot be prints. I get these right here. Um, I get the, the stickers over in the nice little newsstand. 
I even get the Daily Bugle ones right there. But some other ones, I just... I don't know why they decided to go with stickers. Uh, they could have just gone with prints, in my opinion. Uh, maybe the taxi ones would have been nice prints. Um, and they could have just left some of these out. I don't think these were necessary whatsoever. Um, don't know. I think for a set this big, I think uh, sticker shit would have been fine. I just wish it was maybe this size and uh, didn't have to continue to this. And they had it maybe switched out five, six stickers into actual prints. Just my own personal opinion. Again, I, I, I don't take too much bad about it. But if you guys are somebody that hates stickers, do watch out. And this set has a shit ton of extra parts. Like seriously, a shit ton of extra parts. Uh, you get a whole pack of uh, these, uh, the web stuff. And you do get a whole pack of the fire stuff. Um, so you get like these and, um, you know, like again, the whole pack of those, uh, there's some other pretty cool pieces in there. Um, this is a printed piece that you get an extra of, um, but other than that is nothing too crazy of crazy pieces. Um, that's another, well, that's another printed piece right there. Um, but yeah, overall, just pretty standard stuff for everything that's overneath. A lot of pieces. Uh, you also do get a second one of the, the Daredevil heads, which is always nice. And they do give you a brick separator and turquoise color. But that's it. I don't know how long this video is. I've recorded Fefli for a long time. I've made some cuts. Um, I don't know how long this thing's going to take me to edit. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think of this amazing, amazing set. I will probably bring it up to my room tomorrow. And um, I do plan on showing you guys a, a very interesting video coming up soon on where I actually store my Legos, where I'm kind of working on and stuff. But yeah, um, it's a great set. I'm not the biggest fan of Marvel Lego stuff. So if you guys are inter interested in some of the minifigures, they'll probably be up for sale very soon. Uh, thank you guys so much for all the support. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check everything else in the description. Please my TikTok. Wait, no. My main... Main channel, brick link, and um, some of the other links down in the description if you guys are interested in supporting the channel. Sorry for the who knows how long video. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys. Hey guys, so, little cutaway. Um, I did it. Uh, I actually, this is, I'm actually recording this day afterwards. Um, I was wanted to, I talked about how I wanted to change this specific sections um, to actually look uh, like a regular building and like it's not exploding uh you totally can it comes with every single piece and it looks perfect again it it looks just like this with a tiny difference down here um everything that you need actually comes in that set itself so it literally takes maybe 15 i i think it maybe took me maybe two three minutes i can't put this here for some reason there you go it and you're left with all these pieces down here it comes with enough windows it comes with these two bars it comes with these that give it a little bit of pattern and it comes with enough plates and it comes also with enough of these uh, little um pieces uh, i'll take this one off these um for you to actually uh make them so um yeah there is uh for modification uh it it takes maybe i don't know couple minutes at most for you to make that exploding side and just make it more of a regular building um it the set actually comes out with everything you need to do if you guys are having a hard time trying to actually um remember how to do it just look at the instructions uh they're pretty simple just stack these on top of each other stack all the the little headlight bricks um here and put these here and then the plates will be this top area here will be the same this section, you just have to uh, mirror this section and this side right here. Put these up here, and that's it. It's super simple. You get a bunch of leftover pieces that you can use for something else or anything like that. But it's totally possible to do. And yeah, so I wanted to just add that in. Bye.